Unit 1 Some basic concepts of chemistry Chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformations. It is the science not so much of the 100 elements but of the infinite variety of molecules that may be built from them. Roald Hoffman science can be viewed as a continuing human effort to systematize knowledge for describing and understanding nature. You have learned in your previous classes that we come across diverse substances present in nature and changes in them in daily life. Curd formation from milk, formation of vinegar from sugarcane juice on keeping for prolonged time and rusting of iron are some of the examples of changes which we come across many times. For the sake of convenience, science is subdivided into various disciplines, chemistry, physics, biology, geology, etc. The branch of science that studies the preparation, properties, structure and reactions of material substances is called chemistry. Development of chemistry Chemistry, as we understand it today, is not a very old discipline. Chemistry was not studied for its own sake. Rather it came up as a result of search for two interesting things, I philosopher's stone, Paris, which would convert all baser metals e.g., iron and copper into gold. 2. Elixir of life, which would grant immortality. People in ancient India, already had the knowledge of many scientific phenomena much before the advent of modern science. They applied that knowledge in various walks of life. Chemistry developed mainly in the form of alchemy and iatrochemistry during 1300 to 1600 CE. Modern chemistry took shape in the 18th century Europe, after a few centuries of alchemical traditions which were introduced in Europe by the Arabs. After studying this unit, you will be able to times 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 appreciate the contribution of India in the development of chemistry understand the role of chemistry in different spheres of life. Times 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 explain the characteristics of three states of matter. Times 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 classify different substances into elements, compounds and mixtures. Times 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 use scientific notations and determine significant figures. Times 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 differentiate between precision and accuracy. Times 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 define psi base units and convert physical quantities. From one system of units to another, times 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 explain various laws of chemical combination. Times 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 appreciate significance of atomic mass, average atomic mass, molecular mass and formula mass. Times 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 describe the terms mole and molar mass. Times 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 calculate the mass percent of component elements constituting a compound. Times 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 determine empirical formula and molecular formula for a compound from the given experimental data. And times 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 perform the stoichiometric calculations. 2019 to 20. To chemistry other cultures especially the Chinese and the Indian had their own alchemical traditions. These included much knowledge of chemical processes and techniques. In ancient India, chemistry was called Rasayan Shastra, Rastantra, Raskriya or Raswidya. It included metallurgy, medicine, manufacture of cosmetics, glass, dyes, etc. Systematic excavations at Mohenjo-daro in Sindh and Harappa in Punjab prove that the story of development of chemistry in India is very old. Archaeological findings show that baked bricks were used in construction work. It shows the mass production of pottery, which can be regarded as the earliest chemical process, in which materials were mixed, 
molded and subjected to heat by using fire to achieve desirable qualities. Remains of glazed pottery have been found in Mohenjo-daro. Gypsum cement has been used in the construction work. It contains lime, sand and traces of CaCO3. Harappans made faience, a sort of glass which was used in ornaments. They melted and forged a variety of objects from metals, such as lead, silver, gold and copper. They improved the hardness of copper for making artifacts by using tin and arsenic. A number of glass objects were found in Muski in South India, 1900 BCE, and Hastinapur and Taxila in North India, 1200 BCE. Glass and glazes were colored by addition of coloring agents like metal oxides. Copper metallurgy in India dates back to the beginning of Calcolithic cultures in the subcontinent. There are much archaeological evidences to support the view that technologies for extraction of copper and iron were developed indigenously. According to Rigveda, tanning of leather and dyeing of cotton were practiced during 1400 BCE. The golden gloss of the black polished ware of northern India could not be replicated and is still a chemical mystery. These wares indicate the mastery with which kiln temperatures could be controlled. Coetilius Arthashastra describes the production of salt from sea. A vast number of statements and material described in the ancient Vedic literature can be shown to agree with modern scientific findings. Copper utensils, iron, gold, silver ornaments and terracotta discs and painted grey pottery have been found in many archaeological sites in North India. Sushruta Sanhita explains the importance of alkalis. The Charka Sanhita mentions ancient Indians who knew how to prepare sulfuric acid, nitric acid and oxides of copper, tin and zinc. The sulfates of copper, zinc and iron and the carbonates of lead and iron. Rasopanishda describes the preparation of gunpowder mixture. Tamil texts also describe the preparation of fireworks using sulfur, charcoal, saltpetre, i.e., potassium nitrate, mercury, camphor, etc. Nagarjuna was a great Indian scientist. He was a reputed chemist an alchemist and a metallurgist. His work Rasratnakar deals with the formulation of mercury compounds. He has also discussed methods for the extraction of metals, like gold, silver, tin and copper. A book, Rasanavam, appeared around 800 CE. It discusses the uses of various furnaces, ovens and crucibles for different purposes. It describes methods by which metals could be identified by flame color. Chakrapani discovered mercury sulfide. The credit for inventing soap also goes to him. He used mustard oil and some alkalis as ingredients for making soap. Indians began making soaps in the 18th century CE. All of Aranda and seeds of mahua plant and calcium carbonate were used for making soap. The paintings found on the walls of Ajanta and Elora, which look fresh even after ages, testify to a high level of science achieved in ancient India. Word Mihir's Brihat Sanhita is a sort of encyclopedia, which was composed in the 6th century CE. It informs about the preparation of glutinous material to be applied on walls and roofs of houses and temples. It was prepared entirely from extracts of various plants, fruits, seeds and barks, which were concentrated by boiling, and then, treated with various resins. It will be interesting to test such materials scientifically and assess them for use. 2019-20Three some basic concepts of chemistry a number of classical texts, like Atharvaveda, 1000 BCE, mention some dye stuff, 
the material used were turmeric, madder, sunflower, or pigment, cochineal, and lac. Some other substances having tinting property were kamplasika, patanga, and jatuka. Word Mihir's Brihat Sanhita gives references to perfumes and cosmetics. Recipes for hair dyeing were made from plants, like indigo and minerals like iron power, black iron or steel and acidic extracts of sour rice gruel. Gandayukli describes recipes for making scents, mouth perfumes, bath powders, incense and talcum power. Paper was known to India in the 17th century as account of Chinese traveller Ait Singh describes. Excavations at Taxila indicate that ink was used in India from the 4th century. Colours of ink were made from chalk, red lead and minimum. It seems that the process of fermentation was well known to Indians. Vedas and Koitilya's Arthashastra mention about many types of liquors. Charka Sanhita also mentions ingredients, such as barks of plants, stem, flowers, leaves, woods, cereals, fruits and sugar cane for making aswas. The concept that matter is ultimately made of indivisible building blocks, appeared in India a few centuries BCE as a part of philosophical speculations. Acharya Kanda, born in 600 BCE, originally known by the name Kashyap, was the first proponent of the atomic theory. He formulated the theory of very small indivisible particles, which he named Permanu, comparable to atoms. He authored the text Vaiseshika Sutras. According to him, all substances are aggregated form of smaller units called atoms, Permanu, which are eternal, indestructible, spherical, suprasensible and in motion in the original state. He explained that this individual entity cannot be sensed through any human organ. Kanda added that there are varieties of atoms that are as different as the different classes of substances. He said these, permanu, could form pairs or triplets, among other combinations and unseen forces cause interaction between them. He conceptualized this theory around 2,500 years before John Dalton, 1766 to 1844. Charka Sanhita is the oldest Ayurvedic epic of India. It describes the treatment of diseases. The concept of reduction of particle size of metals is clearly discussed in Charka Sanhita. Extreme reduction of particle size is termed as nanotechnology. Charka Sanhita describes the use of bhasma of metals in the treatment of ailments. Nowadays, it has been proved that bhasmas have nanoparticles of metals. After the decline of alchemy, iatrochemistry reached a steady state, but it too declined due to the introduction and practice of Western medicinal system in the 20th century. During this period of stagnation, pharmaceutical industry based on Ayurveda continued to exist, but it too declined gradually. It took about 100 to 150 years for Indians to learn and adopt new techniques. During this time, foreign products poured in. As a result, indigenous traditional techniques gradually declined. Modern science appeared in Indian scene in the later part of the 19th century. By the mid-19th century, European scientists started coming to India and modern chemistry started growing. From the above discussion, you have learned that chemistry deals with the composition, structure, properties and interaction of matter and is of much use to human beings in daily life. These aspects can be best described and understood in terms of basic constituents of matter that are atoms and molecules. That is why, chemistry is also called the science of atoms and molecules. Can we see, weigh and perceive these entities, atoms and molecules?
Is it possible to count the number of atoms and molecules in a given mass of matter and have a quantitative relationship between the mass and the number of these particles? We will get the answer of some of these questions in this unit. We will further describe how physical properties of matter can be quantitatively described using numerical values with suitable units. 2019-20 For chemistry 1.1 Importance of chemistry Chemistry plays a central role in science and is often intertwined with other branches of science. Principles of chemistry are applicable in diverse areas, such as weather patterns, functioning of brain and operation of a computer, production in chemical industries, manufacturing fertilizers, alkalis, acids, salts, dyes, polymers, drugs, soaps, detergents, metals, alloys, etc., including new material. Chemistry contributes in a big way to the national economy. It also plays an important role in meeting human needs for food, healthcare products and other material aimed at improving the quality of life. This is Simplified by the large-scale production of a variety of fertilizers, improved variety of pesticides and insecticides. Chemistry provides methods for the isolation of life-saving drugs from natural sources and makes possible synthesis of such drugs. Some of these drugs are cisplatin and taxol, which are effective in cancer therapy. The drug AZT, azadothimidine is used for helping AIDS patients. Chemistry contributes to a large extent in the development and growth of a nation. With a better understanding of chemical principles it has now become possible to design and synthesize new material having specific magnetic, electric and optical properties. This has led to the production of superconducting ceramics, conducting polymers, optical fibers, etc. Chemistry has helped in establishing industries which manufacture utility goods, like acids, alkalis, dyes, polymes metals, etc. These industries contribute in a big way to the economy of a nation and generate employment. In recent years, chemistry has helped in dealing with some of the pressing aspects of environmental degradation with a fair degree of success. Safer alternatives to environmentally hazardous refrigerants, like CFCS, chlorofluorocarbons, responsible for ozone depletion in the stratosphere, have been successfully synthesized. However, many big environmental problems continue to be matters of grave concern to the chemists. One such problem is the management of the greenhouse gases, like methane, carbon dioxide, etc. Understanding of biochemical processes, use of enzymes for large-scale production of chemicals and synthesis of new exotic material are some of the intellectual challenges for the future generation of chemists. A developing country, like India, needs talented and creative chemists for accepting such challenges. To be a good chemist and to accept such challenges, one needs to understand the basic concepts of chemistry, which begin with the concept of matter. Let us start with the nature of matter. 1.2 Nature of matter You are already familiar with the term matter from your earlier classes. Anything which has mass and occupies space is called matter. Everything around us, for example, book, pen, pencil, water, air, or living beings, etc., are composed of matter. You know that they have mass and they occupy space. Let us recall the characteristics of the states of matter, which you learned in your previous classes. 1st February 2001 States of matter You are aware that matter can exist in three physical states with solid, 
liquid and gas. The constituent particles of matter in these three states can be represented as shown in Fig. 1.1 particles are held very close to each other in solids in an orderly fashion and there is not much freedom of movement. In liquids, the particles are close to each other but they can move around. However, in gases, the particles are far apart as compared to those present in solid or liquid states and their movement is easy and fast. Because of such arrangement of particles, different states of matter exhibit the following characteristics, i. Solids have definite volume and definite shape. 2. Liquids have definite volume but do not have definite shape. They take the shape of the container in which they are placed. 2019 to 20. Five some basic concepts of chemistry. 3. Gases have neither definite volume nor definite shape. They completely occupy the space in the container in which they are placed. These three states of matter are interconvertible by changing the conditions of temperature and pressure. Solid liquid gas on heating, a solid usually changes to a liquid, and the liquid on further heating changes to gas, or vapor. In the reverse process, a gas on cooling liquefies to the liquid and the liquid on further cooling freezes to the solid. 1st February 2002 Classification of Matter in Class 9, Chapter 2 You have learned that at the macroscopic or bulk level, matter can be classified as mixture or pure substance. These can be further subdivided as shown in Fig. 1.2 When all constituent particles of a substance are same in chemical nature, it is said to be a pure substance. A mixture contains many types of particles. A mixture contains particles of two or more pure substances which may be present in it in any ratio. Hence, their composition is variable. Pure substances forming mixture are called its components. Many of the substances present around you are mixtures. For example, sugar solution in water, air, tea, etc are all mixtures. A mixture may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. In a homogeneous mixture, the components completely mix with each other. This means particles of components of the mixture are uniformly distributed throughout Fig. 1.2 Classification of Matter Fig. 1.1 Arrangement of Particles in Solid Liquid and gaseous state the bulk of the mixture and its composition is uniform throughout. Sugar solution and air are the examples of homogeneous mixtures. In contrast to this, in a heterogeneous mixture, the composition is not uniform throughout and sometimes different components are visible. For example, mixtures of salt and sugar, grains and pulses along with some dirt often stone pieces, are heterogeneous mixtures. You can think of many more examples of mixtures which you come across in the daily life. It is worthwhile to mention here that the components of a mixture can be separated by using physical methods, such as simple handpicking, filtration, crystallization, distillation, etc. Pure substances have characteristics different from mixtures. Constituent particles of pure substances have fixed composition. Copper, silver, gold, water and glucose are some examples of pure substances. Glucose contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in a fixed ratio and its particles are of same composition. Hence, like all other pure substances, Glucose has a fixed composition. Also, its constituents, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, cannot be separated by simple physical methods. Pure substances can further be classified into elements and compounds. Particles of an element consist of only one type of atoms.
these particles may exist as atoms or molecules. You may be familiar with atoms and molecules from the 2019 to 20. Six chemistry previous classes, however, you will be studying about them in detail in Unit 2. Sodium, copper, silver, hydrogen, oxygen, etc. are some examples of elements. They all atoms are of one type. However, the atoms of different elements are different in nature. Some elements, such as sodium or copper, contain atoms as their constituent particles, whereas, in some others, the constituent particles are molecules which are formed by two or more atoms. For example, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen gases consist of molecules, in which two atoms combine to give their respective molecules. This is illustrated in Fig. 1.3 carbon atom. Thus, the atoms of different elements are present in a compound in a fixed and definite ratio and this ratio is characteristic of a particular compound. Also, the properties of a compound are different from those of its constituent elements. For example, hydrogen and oxygen are gases, whereas, the compound formed by their combination i.e., water is a liquid. It is interesting to note that hydrogen burns with a pop sound and oxygen is a supporter of combustion, but water is used as a fire extinguisher. 1.3 Properties of Matter and Their Measurement 1st March 2001 Physical and Chemical Properties Every substance has unique or characteristic properties. These properties can be classified into two categories, physical properties, such as color, order, melting point, boiling point, density, etc., and chemical properties, like composition, combustibility, reactivity with acids and bases, etc. Physical properties can be measured or observed without changing the identity or the composition of the substance. The measurement or observation of chemical properties requires a chemical change to occur. Measurement of physical properties does not require occurrence of a chemical change. The examples of chemical properties are characteristic reactions of different substances. These include acidity or basicity, combustibility, etc. Chemists describe, interpret and predict the behavior of substances on the basis of knowledge of their physical and chemical properties, which are determined by careful measurement and experimentation. In the when two or more atoms of different elements combine together in a definite ratio, the molecule of a compound is obtained. Moreover, the constituents of a compound cannot be separated into simpler substances by physical methods. They can be separated by chemical methods. Examples of some compounds are water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, sugar, etc. The molecules of water and carbon dioxide are represented in Fig. 1.4 Note that a water molecule comprises two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Similarly, a molecule of carbon dioxide contains two oxygen atoms combined with one Fig. 1.4 A depiction of molecules of water and carbon dioxide water molecule, H2O. Carbon dioxide molecule, CO2, Fig. 1.3 A representation of atoms and molecules 2019 to 20. Seven Some basic concepts of chemistry following section, we will learn about the measurement of physical properties. 1st March 2002 Measurement of Physical Properties Quantitative measurement of properties is required for scientific investigation. Many properties of matter, such as length, area, volume, etc., are quantitative in nature. 
Any quantitative observation or measurement is represented by a number followed by units in which it is measured. For example, length of a room can be represented as 6 m. Here, 6 is the number and m denotes meter, the unit in which the length is measured. Earlier, two different systems of measurement, i. The English system and the metric system were being used in different parts of the world. The metric system, which originated in France in late 18th century, was more convenient as it was based on the decimal system. Late, need of a common standard system was felt by the scientific community. Such a system was established in 1960 and is discussed in detail below. 1st March 2003 The International System of Units, SI, the International System of Units, in French Le Système International des Units, abbreviated as SI, was established by the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measures, CGPM from Conference Générale des Poids et Measures. The CGPM is an intergovernmental treaty organization created by a diplomatic treaty known as Mitter Convention, which was signed in Paris in 1875. The SI system has seven base units and they are listed in Table 1.1. These units pertain to the seven fundamental scientific quantities. The other physical quantities, such as speed, volume, density, etc., can be derived from these quantities. Table 1.1 Base Physical Quantities and Their Units Base Physical Symbol Name of Symbol Quantity for Psi Unit for Psi Quantity Unit Length L Meter M Mass M Kilogram Kg Time T Second S Electric Current I Ampere A Thermodynamic T Kelvin K Temperature Amount of Substance N Mole Mole Luminous Intensity 4 Candela CD Maintaining the National Standards of Measurement The System of Units including unit definitions, keeps on changing with time. Whenever the accuracy of measurement of a particular unit was enhanced substantially by adopting new principles, member nations of Mitter Treaty, signed in 1875, agreed to change the formal definition of that unit. Each modern industrialized country, including India, has a National Metrology Institute, NMI, which maintains standards of measurements. This responsibility has been given to the National Physical Laboratory, NPL, New Delhi. This laboratory establishes experiments to realize the base units and derived units of measurement and maintains national standards of measurement. These standards are periodically intercompared with standards maintained at other national metrology institutes in the world, as well as those established at the International Bureau of Standards in Paris, 2019-20. Eight chemistry These prefixes are listed in Table 1.3. Let us now quickly go through some of the quantities which you will be often using in this book. The definitions of the psi base units are given in Table 1.2. The psi system allows the use of prefixes to indicate the multiples or submultiples of a unit. Asterisk triple point of water is 0.01 degrees Celsius or 279.16 K. 32.01 degrees Fahrenheit. Table 1.2 Definitions of Psi Base Units Unit of Length Meter The meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 12997924058 of a second. Unit of Mass Kilogram The kilogram is the unit of mass. It is equal to the mass of the international prototype of the kilogram. Unit of time second The second is the duration of 9192631770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. 
unit of electric ampere the ampere is that constant current which current if maintained in two straight parallel conductors of infinite length of negligible circular cross section and placed one meter apart in vacuum would produce between these conductors a force equal to 2 times 107 newton per meter of length unit of thermodynamic kelvin the kelvin unit of thermodynamic temperature temperature is the fraction 1273.16 of the thermodynamic temperature of the triple asterisk point of water unit of amount of substance mole 1 the mole is the amount of substance of a system which contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 0.012 kg of carbon-12, its symbol is mole. To when the mole is used, the elementary entities must be specified and these may be atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, other particles, or specified groups of such particles. Unit of luminous intensity candela The candela is the luminous intensity, in a given direction, of a source that emits monochromatic radiation of frequency 540 times 1012 Hz and that has a radiant intensity in that direction of 1683 Watt per steradian. 2019-20 9 Some basic concepts of chemistry Fig. 1.5 Analytical balance First March 2004 Mass and weight mass of a substance is the amount of matter present in it, while weight is the force exerted by gravity on an object. The mass of a substance is constant, whereas, its weight may vary from one place to another due to change in gravity. You should be careful in using these terms. The mass of a substance can be determined accurately in the laboratory by using an analytical balance, Fig 1.5. The psi unit of mass as given in Table 1.1 is kilogram. However, its fraction named as gram, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 g is used in laboratories due to the smaller amounts of chemicals used in chemical reactions. 1st March 2005 Volume Volume is the amount of space occupied by a substance. It has the units of length 3. So in size system, volume has units of M3. But again, in chemistry laboratories, smaller volumes are used. Hence, Volume is often denoted in CM3 or DM3 units. A common unit, liter, L, which is not an psi unit, is used for measurement of volume of liquids. 1 L is equal to 1000 ml, 1000 cubic centimeters is equal to 1 DM3 fig. 1.6 helps to visualize these relations. Table 1.3 prefixes used in the psi system multiple prefix symbol 1024 yok 2 y 1021 zepto z 1018 octon 1015 femto f 1012 pico p 109 nano n 106 micro 103 milli m 102 centi c 101 deci d 10 dica 102 hecto h 103 kilo k 106 mega m 109 giga g 1 1012 Tera T 1015 Peta P 1018 Exa E 1021 Zeta Z 1024 Yota Y Fig 1.6 Different units used to express volume 2019 to 20 10 Chemistry in the Laboratory the volume of liquids or solutions can be measured by graduated cylinder, burette, pipette, etc. A volumetric flask is used to prepare a known volume of a solution. These measuring devices are shown in Fig. 1.7 Fig. 1.7 Some volume measuring devices 1.4 Uncertainty in measurement many a time in the study of chemistry. 
one has to deal with experimental data as well as theoretical calculations. There are meaningful ways to handle the numbers conveniently and Fahrenheit and K, Kelvin. Here, K is the psi unit. The thermometers based on these scales are shown in Fig. 1.8 Generally, the thermometer with Celsius scale are calibrated from 0 degree to 100 degrees, where these two temperatures are the freezing point and the boiling point of water, respectively. The Fahrenheit scale is represented between 32 degrees to 212 degrees. The temperatures on two scales are related to each other by the following relationship. Degree is equal to degree plus. FC 9th May 1932 The Kelvin scale is related to Celsius scale as follows. K is equal to degree C plus 273.15 It is interesting to note that temperature below 0 degree C, i.e., negative values, are possible in Celsius scale but in Kelvin scale, negative temperature is not possible. Fig. 1.8 Thermometers using different temperature scales 1st March 2006 Density The two properties, mass and volume discussed above are related as follows, is equal to mass density volume density of a substance is its amount of mass per unit volume. So, psi units of density can be obtained as follows. Psi unit of density is equal to psi unit of mass psi unit of volume is equal to kg m3 or kg m3 this unit is quite large and a chemist often expresses density in gcm3 where mass is expressed in gram and volume is expressed in cm3 density of a substance tells us about how closely its particles are packed if density is more it means particles are more closely packed. 1st March 2007 Temperature There are three common scales to measure temperature. Degree C, degree Celsius, degree F, degree 2019 to 20. Eleven Some basic concepts of chemistry present the data realistically with certainty to the extent possible. These ideas are discussed below in detail. 1st April 2001 Scientific notation as chemistry is the study of atoms and molecules, which have extremely low masses and are present in extremely large numbers. A chemist has to deal with numbers as large as 602. 200 triple zero triple zero triple zero triple zero triple zero triple zero for the molecules of 2g of hydrogen gas or as small as 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
often in the scientific notation. Similarly, 0.00016 can be written as 1.6 times 104. Here, the decimal has to be moved four places to the right and 4 is the exponent in the scientific notation. While performing mathematical operations on numbers expressed in scientific notations, the following points are to be kept in mind. Reference standard after defining a unit of measurement such as the kilogram or the meter, scientists agreed on reference standards that make it possible to calibrate all measuring devices. For getting reliable measurements, all devices such as meter sticks and analytical balances have been calibrated by their manufacturers to give correct readings. However, each of these devices is standardized or calibrated against some reference. The mass standard is the kilogram since 1889. It has been defined as the mass of platinum iridium, PTIR, cylinder that is stored in an airtight jar at International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Sevres, France. PTIR was chosen for this standard because it is highly resistant to chemical attack and its mass will not change for an extremely long time. Scientists are in search of a new standard for mass. This is being attempted through accurate determination of Avogadro constant. Work on this new standard focuses on ways to measure accurately the number of atoms in a well-defined mass of sample. One such method, which uses X-rays to determine the atomic density of a crystal of ultrapure silicon, has an accuracy of about one part in 106 but has not yet been adopted to serve as a standard. There are other methods but none of them are presently adequate to replace the PTIR cylinder. No doubt, changes are expected within this decade. The meter was originally defined as the length between two marks on a PTIR bar kept at a temperature of 0 degrees C. 273.15 K. In 1960 the length of the meter was defined as 1.6507637 times 106 times the wavelength of light emitted by a Krypton laser. Although this was a cumbersome number. It preserved the length of the meter at its agreed value. The meter was redefined in 1983 by CGPM as the length of path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 12997924458 of a second. Similar to the length and the mass, there are reference standards for other physical quantities. 2019-20 12 chemistry multiplication and division these two operations follow the same rules which are there for exponential numbers i by an analytical balance is slightly higher than the mass obtained by using a platform balance therefore digit 4 placed after decimal in the measurement by platform balance is uncertain the uncertainty in the experimental or the calculated values is indicated by mentioning the number of significant figures. Significant figures are meaningful digits which are known with certainty plus one which is estimated or uncertain. The uncertainty is indicated by writing the certain digits and the last uncertain digit. Thus, if we write a result as 11.2 ml, we say the 11 is certain and 2 is uncertain and the uncertainty would be plus 1 in the last digit. Unless otherwise stated, an uncertainty of plus 1 in the last digit is always understood. There are certain rules for determining the number of significant figures. These are stated below. 1. All non-zero digits are significant. For example in 285 cm, there are three significant figures and in 0.25 ml, there are two significant figures. 2. Zeros preceding to first non-zero digit are not significant. 
such zero indicates the position of decimal point. Thus, 0.03 has one significant figure and 0.0052 has two significant figures. 3. Zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. Thus, 2.005 has four significant figures. 4. Zeros at the end or right of a number are significant, provided they are on the right side of the decimal point. For example, 0.200G has three significant figures. But, if otherwise, the terminal zeros are not significant if there is no decimal point. For example, 100 has only one significant figure, but 100 has three significant figures and 100.0 has four significant figures. Such numbers are better represented in scientific notation. We can express the number 100 as 1 times 102 for one significant figure, 1 dot 0 times 102 for two significant figures and 1 dot double 0 times 102 for three significant figures. Addition and subtraction for these two operations. First the numbers are written in such a way that they have the same exponent. After that, the coefficients, digit terms, are added or subtracted as the case may be. Thus, for adding 6.65 times 104 and 8.95 times 103, exponent is made same for both the numbers. Thus, we get 6.65 times 104 plus 0.895 times 104. Then, these numbers can be added as follows 6.65 plus 0.895 times 104 is equal to 7.545 times 104 similarly the subtraction of two numbers can be done as shown below 2.5 times 10 to 4.8 times 10 3 is equal to 2.5 times 10 to 0.48 times 10 2 is equal to 2.50.48 Times 10 to is equal to 2.02 times 10 to 1st April 2002 significant figures every experimental measurement has some amount of uncertainty associated with it because of limitation of measuring instrument and the skill of the person making the measurement. For example, mass of an object is obtained using a platform balance and it comes out to be 9.4 g. On measuring the mass of this object on an analytical balance, the mass obtained is 9.4213 g. The mass obtained 5th June 2010 6th September 2010 5 6 6 September 2010 5 6 6 September 2010 5th August 1958 13 times 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 plus is equal to is equal to is equal to 386410 is equal to 3.86410 is equal to 1314 times 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 plus 9th august 2010 second may 2010 98 second may 2010 262 times 66 26 398 second may 2010 second july 2010 5 times 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 is equal to is equal to 24.5010 is equal to 2.450087 dot 55 10 to 7 5th may 2010 14 34 times divided by Times times is equal to is equal to 0 0.49090 is equal to 4 4.9091078. 2019 to 20. Thirteen some basic concepts of chemistry. Five counting the numbers of object. For example, two balls or twenty eggs. 
have infinite significant figures as these are exact numbers and can be represented by writing infinite number of zeros after placing a decimal i. 2 is equal to 2.0000000 or 20 is equal to 20.0000000. In numbers written in scientific notation, all digits are significant e.g. 4.01 times 102 has three significant figures, and 8.256 times 103 has four significant figures. However, one would always like the results to be precise and accurate. Precision and accuracy are often referred to while we talk about the measurement. Precision refers to the closeness of various measurements for the same quantity. However, Accuracy is the agreement of a particular value to the true value of the result. For example, if the true value for a result is 2.00 g and student, a, takes two measurements and reports the results as 1.95 g and 1.93 g. These values are precise as they are close to each other but are not accurate. Another student, b, repeats the experiment and obtains 1.94 g and 2.05 g as the results for two measurements. These observations are neither precise nor accurate. When the third student, C, repeats these measurements and reports 2.01 g and 1.99 g as the result, these values are both precise and accurate. This can be more clearly understood from the data given in Table 1.4. Here, 18.0 has only one digit after the decimal point and the result should be reported only up to one digit after the decimal point, which is 31.1. Multiplication and division of significant figures in these operations, the result must be reported with no more significant figures as in the measurement with the few significant figures. 2.5 times 1.25 is equal to 3.125 since 2.5 has two significant figures. The result should not have more than two significant figures. Thus, it is 3.1. While limiting the result to the required number of significant figures as done in the above mathematical operation, one has to keep in mind the following points for rounding of the numbers 1. If the rightmost digit to be removed is more than 5, the preceding number is increased by 1. For example, 1.386. If we have to remove 6, we have to round it to 1.39. 2. If the rightmost digit to be removed is less than 5, the preceding number is not changed. For example, 4.334 if 4 is to be removed, then the result is rounded up to 4.33. 3. If the rightmost digit to be removed is 5, then the preceding number is not changed if it is an even number but it is increased by 1 if it is an odd number. For example, if 6.35 is to be rounded by removing 5, we have to increase 3 to 4 giving 6.4 as the result. However, if 6.25 is to be rounded off it is rounded off to 6.2. First April 2003 dimensional analysis often while calculating, there is a need to convert units from one system to the other. The method used to accomplish this is called factor label method or unit factor method or dimensional analysis. This is illustrated below. Example A piece of metal is 3 inch, represented by in, long. What is its length in cm? Addition and subtraction of significant figures the result cannot have more digits to the right of the decimal point than either of the original numbers. 12.11 18.01.012 31.12 12 average g 
student A 1.95 1.93 1.940 1 1 student B 1.942.05 1.995 1 student C 2.01 1.992.000 measurements G table 1.4 data to illustrate precision and accuracy 2019 to 20. Fourteen chemistry solution we know that one in is equal to 2.54 centimeters from this equivalence we can write first February 1954 first February 1954 one in cm cm in is equal to is equal to thus first February 1954 in cm equals one and 254 one cm in also equals one both of these are called unit factors. If some number is multiplied by these unit factors, i, 1, it will not be affected otherwise. Say, the 3 in given above is multiplied by the unit factor. So, 3 in is equal to 3 in times 254 1. Cm in is equal to 3 by 2.54 cm is equal to 7.62 cm now. The unit factor by which multiplication is to be done is that unit factor 254 1 cm in in the above case, which gives the desired units i.e. The numerator should have that part which is required in the desired result. It should also be noted in the above example that units can be handled just like other numerical part. It can be cancelled, divided, multiplied, squared etc. Let us study one more example. Example A jug contains 2 L of milk. Calculate the volume of the milk in M3. Solution since 1 L is equal to 1000 cubic centimeters and 1 M is equal to 100 centimeters, which gives 1 100 1 100 1 M C M C M M is equal to is equal to to get M3 from the above unit factors. The first unit factor is taken and it is cubed. 1 100 1st October 2011 3rd March 1963 3 MCM MCM is equal to is equal to now 2 L is equal to 2 by 1000 cubic centimeters the above is multiplied by the unit factor 2 1000 1 10th February 2010 2 103 363 3 3 3 3 times times is equal to is equal to times cm m cm m m example how many seconds are there in two days solution here we know one day is equal to 24 hours H or 1 24th January 1924 one day H H day is equal to is equal to then 1 H is equal to 60 min or 160 160 1 H min min is equal to is equal to so for converting two days to seconds I two days is equal to seconds the unit factors can be multiplied in series in one step only as follows 2 20 of chemical combinations the combination of elements to form compounds is governed by the following five basic laws first may 2001 law of conservation of mass this law was put forth by antoine lavoisier in 1789 he performed careful experimental studies for combustion reactions and reached to the conclusion that in all physical and chemical changes there is no net change in mass due the process. Hence, he reached to the conclusion that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. This is called, law of conservation of mass. This law formed the basis for several later developments in chemistry. In fact, this was the result of exact measurement of masses of reactants and products, and carefully planned experiments performed by Lavoisier. Antoine Lavoisier, 1743-1794, 2019-20.
15 Some Basic Concepts of Chemistry 1st May 2002 Law of Definite Proportions This law was given by a French chemist, Joseph Proust. He stated that a given compound always contains exactly the same proportion of elements by weight. Proust worked with two samples of cupric carbonate, one of which was of natural origin and the other was synthetic. He found that the composition of elements present in it was same for both the samples as shown below. Produced in a chemical reaction they do so in a simple ratio by volume, provided all gases are at the same temperature and pressure. Thus, 100 ml of hydrogen combine with 50 ml of oxygen to give 100 ml of water vapor. Hydrogen plus oxygen water 100 ml 50 ml 100 ml thus, the volumes of hydrogen and oxygen which combine, i.e., 100 ml and 50 ml, bear a simple ratio of 2, 1. Gay Lazac's discovery of integer ratio in volume relationship is actually the law of definite proportions by volume. The law of definite proportions, stated earlier, was with respect to mass. The gay lazacs law was explained properly by the work of Avogadro in 1811. First May 2005 Avogadro's law in 1811, Avogadro proposed that equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules. Avogadro made a distinction between atoms and molecules which is quite understandable in present times. If we consider again the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce water, we see that two volumes of hydrogen combine with one volume of oxygen to give two volumes of water without leaving any unreacted oxygen. Note that in the fig. 1.9, page 16. Each box contains equal number of molecules. In fact, Avogadro could explain the above result by considering the molecules to be polyatomic. If hydrogen and oxygen were considered as diatomic as recognized now, then the above results are easily understandable. However, Dalton and others believed at that time that atoms of the Joseph Proust 17541826, Joseph Luis Gay Lazac Lorenzo Romano Amedio Carlo Avogadro di Quereca e di Carito, 17761856, percent of percent of percent of copper carbon oxygen natural sample 51.359.7438.9171 51 synthetic sample 51.359.7438.91 thus, he concluded that irrespective of the source, a given compound always contains same elements combined together in the same proportion by mass. The validity of this law has been confirmed by various experiments. It is sometimes also referred to as law of definite composition. 1st May 2003 Law of Multiple Proportions This law was proposed by Dalton in 1803. According to this law, if two elements can combine to form more than one compound, the masses of one element that combine with a fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. For example, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form two compounds, namely, water and hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen plus oxygen water 2G 16G 18G hydrogen plus oxygen hydrogen peroxide 2G 3 2G 3 4G here, the masses of oxygen, i.e., 16G and 32G, which combine with a fixed mass of hydrogen, 2G, bear a simple ratio, i.e., 1632 or 1, 2. 1st May 2004 Gay Lazac's Law of Gaseous Volumes This law was given by Gay Lazac in 1808. He observed that when gases combine or are 2019 to 20.
16 chemistry same kind cannot combine and molecules of oxygen or hydrogen containing two atoms did not exist. Avogadro's proposal was published in the French journal De Physique. In spite of being correct, it did not gain much support. After about 50 years, in 1860, the first international conference on chemistry was held in Karlsruhe, Germany, to resolve various ideas. At the meeting, Stanislaw Kanizaro presented a sketch of a course of chemical philosophy, which emphasized on the importance of Avogadro's work. 1.6 Dalton's atomic theory Although the origin of the idea that matter is composed of small indivisible particles called atomio, meaning indivisible, dates back to the time of Democritus, a Greek philosopher, 463-70 BC. It again started emerging as a result of several experimental studies which led to the laws mentioned above. In 1808, Dalton published a new system of chemical philosophy in which he proposed the following, one matter consists of indivisible atoms. Two all atoms of a given element have identical properties, including identical mass. Atoms of different elements differ in mass. Three compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio. Four chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms. These are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Dalton's theory could explain the laws of chemical combination. However, it could not explain the laws of gaseous volumes. It could not provide the reason for combining of atoms, which was answered later by other scientists. 1.7 Atomic and Molecular Masses After having some idea about the terms atoms and molecules, it is appropriate here to understand what do we mean by atomic and molecular masses. 1st July 2001 Atomic Mass The atomic mass or the mass of an atom is actually very very small because atoms are extremely small. Today, we have sophisticated techniques e.g mass spectrometry for determining the atomic masses fairly accurately. But in the 19th century, scientists could determine the mass of one atom relative to another by experimental means, as has been mentioned earlier. Hydrogen, being the lightest atom was arbitrarily assigned a mass of one, without any units, and other elements were assigned masses relative to it. However, the present system of atomic masses is based on carbon-12 as the standard and has been agreed upon in 1961. Here, carbon-12 is one of the isotopes of carbon and can be represented as 12C. In this system, 12C is assigned a mass of exactly 12 atomic mass unit, amu, and masses of all other atoms are given relative to this standard. One atomic mass unit is defined as a mass exactly equal John Dalton, 1776-1884, fig. 1.92 volumes of hydrogen react with one volume of oxygen to give two volumes of water vapor 2019-20. Seventeen Some basic concepts of chemistry to one twelfth of the mass of one carbon, twelve atom. And one amu is equal to one dot double six zero five six times ten twenty four g mass of an atom of hydrogen is equal to one dot six seven three six times ten twenty four g thus, in terms of amu. The mass of hydrogen atom is equal to is equal to 1.0078 amu is equal to 1.0080 amu similarly the mass of oxygen 16 16 o, atom would be 15.995 amu at present amu has been replaced by u which is known as unified mass when we use atomic masses of elements in calculations, 
we actually use average atomic masses of elements, which are explained below. 1st July 2002 Average atomic mass Many naturally occurring elements exist as more than one isotope. When we take into account the existence of these isotopes and their relative abundance, percent occurrence, the average atomic mass of that element can be computed. For example, carbon has the following three isotopes with relative abundances and masses as shown against 1st July 2003 molecular mass. Molecular mass is the sum of atomic masses of the elements present in a molecule. It is obtained by multiplying the atomic mass of each element by the number of its atoms and adding them together. For example, molecular mass of methane, which contains one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms, can be obtained as follows. Molecular mass of methane, CH4, is equal to 12.011 U plus 4, 1.008 U is equal to 16.043 U. Similarly, molecular mass of water, H2O, is equal to 2 times atomic mass of hydrogen plus 1 times atomic mass of oxygen is equal to 2, 1.008 U, plus 16.00 U is equal to 18.02 U. 1st July 2004 formula mass some substances, such as sodium chloride, do not contain discrete molecules as their constituent units. In such compounds, positive, sodium ion, and negative, chloride ion, entities are arranged in a three-dimensional structure, as shown in Fig. 1.10 Isotope Relative Atomic Abundance Mass, AMU, percent. 12 C 98.892 12 13 C 1.108 13.0033514 C 2 times 10 10 14.00317 each of them. From the above data, the average atomic mass of carbon will come out to be 0 0.98892 12 U plus 0 0.01108 13.00335 U plus 2 times 10 12 14.00317 U is equal to 12.011 U. Similarly, average atomic masses for other elements can be calculated. In the periodic table of elements, the atomic masses mentioned for different elements actually represent their average atomic masses. It may be noted that in sodium chloride, one Na plus ion is surrounded by 6 Cl ion and vice versa. The formula, such as Na Cl, is used to calculate the formula mass instead of molecular mass as in the solid state sodium chloride does not exist as a single entity. Fig. 1.10 Packing of Na plus and Cl ions in sodium chloride 2019 to 20. Eighteen Chemistry 1.8 Mole concept and molar masses atoms and molecules are extremely small in size and their numbers in even a small amount of any substance is really very large. To handle such large numbers, a unit of convenient magnitude is required. Just as we denote one dozen for 12 items, score for 20 items, gross for 144 items, we use the idea of mole to count entities at the microscopic level, i.e., atoms, molecules, particles, electrons, ions, etc. In size system, mole symbol mole was introduced as seventh base quantity for the amount of a substance one mole is the amount of a substance that contains as many particles or entities as there are atoms in exactly 12 g or 0.012 kilograms of the 12 c isotope it may be emphasized that the mole of a substance always contains the same number of entities no matter what the substance may be.
In order to determine this number precisely, the mass of a carbon-12 atom was determined by a mass spectrometer and found to be equal to 1.992648 times 1023 g knowing that one mole of carbon weighs 12 g. The number of atoms in it is equal to 1219,92,648 10th December 1923 12 g mol CGC atom times is equal to times 6022136710231023 atoms mole this number of entities in one mole is so important that it is given a separate name and symbol it is known as avogadro constant or avogadro number denoted by na in honor of amedeo avogadro to appreciate the largeness of this number let us write it with all zeros without using any powers of 10. 6022136700000000000000 Hence, so many entities, atoms, molecules or any other particle, constitute one mole of a particular substance. We can, therefore, Say that one mole of hydrogen atoms is equal to 6.022 times 1023 atoms. One mole of water molecules is equal to 6.022 times 1023 water molecules. One mole of sodium chloride is equal to 6.022 times 1023 formula units of sodium chloride having defined the mole. It is easier to know the mass of one mole of a substance or the constituent entities. The mass of one mole of a substance in grams is called its molar mass. The molar mass in grams is numerically equal to atomic molecular formula mass in U. Molar mass of water is equal to 18.02 g mol. One molar mass of sodium chloride is equal to 58.5 g mol. One 1.9 percentage composition so far. We were dealing with the number of entities present in a given sample. But many a time, Information regarding the percentage of a particular element present in a compound is required. Suppose, an unknown or new compound is given to you. The first question thus, the formula mass of sodium chloride is atomic mass of sodium plus atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 23.0 U plus 35.5 U is equal to 58.5 U fig. 1.111 mole of various substances problem 1.1 calculate the molecular mass of glucose C6H12O6 molecule solution molecular mass of glucose C6H12O6 is equal to 6 12.011 u plus 12 1.008 u plus 6 16.00 u is equal to 72.066 U plus 12.096 U plus 96.00 U is equal to 180.162 U 2019 to 20. Nineteen some basic concepts of chemistry you would ask is what is its formula or what are its constituents and in what ratio are they present in the given compound for known compounds also such information provides a check whether the given sample contains the same percentage of elements as present in a pure sample in other words one can check the purity of a given sample by analyzing this data let us understand it by taking the example of water H2. Since water contains hydrogen and oxygen, the percentage composition of both these elements can be calculated as follows. 
mass percent of an element is equal to mass of that element in the compound 100 molar mass of at times e compound molar mass of water is equal to 18.02 g mass percent of hydrogen is equal to is equal to 11.18 mass percent of oxygen is equal to 16.00 18.02 times is equal to 88.79 let us take one more example what is the percentage of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in ethanol? Molecular formula of ethanol is C2H5O molar mass of ethanol is 2 times 12.01 plus 6 times 1.008 plus 16.00 G is equal to 46.068 G mass percent of carbon is equal to 24.02 G 46.068 G 100 times is equal to 52.14% mass percent of hydrogen is equal to 6.048 G 46.068 G 100 times is equal to 13.13% mass percent of oxygen is equal to 16.00 G 46.068 g 100 times is equal to 34.73% after understanding the calculation of percent of mass. Let us now see what information can be obtained from the percent composition data. 1st September 2001 Empirical formula for molecular formula An empirical formula represents the simplest whole number ratio of various atoms present in a compound, whereas, the molecular formula shows the exact number of different types of atoms present in a molecule of a compound. If the mass percent of various elements present in a compound is known, its empirical formula can be determined. Molecular formula can further be obtained if the molar mass is known. The following example illustrates this sequence. Problem 1.2 A compound contains 4.07% hydrogen, 24.27% carbon and 71.65% chlorine. Its molar mass is 98.96 g. What are its empirical and molecular formulas? Solution Step 1. Conversion of mass percent to grams Since we are having mass percent, it is convenient to use 100 g of the compound as the starting material. Thus, in the 100 g sample of the above compound, 4.07 g hydrogen, 24.27 g carbon and 71.65 g chlorine are present. Step 2. Convert into number moles of each element divide the masses obtained above by respective atomic masses of various elements. This gives the number of moles of constituent elements in the compound moles of hydrogen is equal to 4.07 g 1.008 g is equal to 4.04 moles of carbon is equal to 24.27 g 1201 g 2021 is equal to moles of chlorine is equal to 71.65 g 35 453 g 2021 is equal to 2019 to 20. Twenty chemistry step three. Divide each of the mole values obtained above by the smallest number amongst them since 2.021 is smallest value. Division by it gives a ratio of 2, 1, 1 for H, C, Cl. In case the ratios are not whole numbers, then they may be converted into whole number by multiplying by the suitable coefficient. Step 4. Write down the empirical formula by mentioning the numbers after writing the symbols of respective elements CH2Cl is, thus, the empirical formula of the above compound. Step 5. Writing molecular formula, A. Determine empirical formula mass by adding the atomic masses of various atoms present in the empirical formula. For CH2Cl, 
empirical formula mass is 12.01 plus 2 times 1.008 plus 35.453 is equal to 49.48 g b divide molar mass by empirical formula mass is equal to 2 is equal to n c multiply empirical formula by n obtained above to get the molecular formula empirical formula is equal to ch2 cl n is equal to 2 hence molecular formula is c2h4 cl2 available from the balanced chemical equation of a given reaction let us consider the combustion of methane a balanced equation for this reaction is as given below ch4 g plus 2 o2 g co2 g plus 2 h2 o g here Methane and dioxygen are called reactants and carbon dioxide and water are called products. Note that all the reactants and the products are gases in the above reaction and this has been indicated by letter G in the brackets next to its formula. Similarly, in case of solids and liquids, S and L are written respectively. The coefficients 2 for O2 and H2O are called stoichiometric coefficients. Similarly the coefficient for CH4 and CO2 is 1 in each case. They represent the number of molecules and moles as well, taking part in the reaction or formed in the reaction. Thus, according to the above chemical reaction, times 1 mole of CH4, G reacts with 2 moles of O2, G, to give 1 mole of CO2, G, and 2 moles of H2O, G, times 1 molecule of CH4, G, reacts with 2 molecules of O2, G, to give 1 molecule of CO2, G, and 2 molecules of H2O, G, times 22.7 L of CH4, G reacts with 45.4 L of O2, G, to give 22.7 L of CO2, G, and 45.4 L of H2O, G, times 16 G of CH4, G, reacts with 2 times 32 G of O2, G, to give 44 G of CO2, G, and 2 times 18 G of H2O, G. From these relationships, the given data can be interconverted as follows. Mass volume density is equal to 1.10.1 limiting reagent many a time. Reactions are carried out with the amounts of reactants that are different than the amounts as required by a balanced chemical reaction. In such situations, one reactant is in more amount than the amount required by balanced chemical reaction. The reactant which is present in the least amount 1.10 stoichiometry and stoichiometric calculations the word stoichiometry is derived from two Greek words stoichian meaning element and metron meaning measure stoichiometry thus deals with the calculation of masses sometimes volumes also of the reactants and the products involved in a chemical reaction. Before understanding how to calculate the amounts of reactants required or the products produced in a chemical reaction, let us study what information is 2019 to 20. Twenty-one Some basic concepts of chemistry gets consumed after some time and after that further reaction does not take place whatever be the amount of the other reactant. Hence, the reactant, which gets consumed first, limits the amount of product formed and is, therefore, called the limiting reagent. In performing stoichiometric calculations, this aspect is also to be kept in mind. First October 2002 reactions in solutions A majority of reactions in the laboratories are carried out in solutions. Therefore, it is important to understand as how the amount of substance is expressed when it is present in the solution. 
the concentration of a solution or the amount of substance present in its given volume can be expressed in any of the following ways. 1 mass percent or weight percent, WW percent. 2 mole fraction 3. Molarity 4. Molality let us now study each one of them in detail. Balancing a chemical equation according to the law of conservation of mass. A balanced chemical equation has the same number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. Many chemical equations can be balanced by trial and error. Let us take the reactions of a few metals and non-metals with oxygen to give oxides 4 Fe, S, plus 3 O2, G, 2 Fe 2 O3, S, A, balanced equation 2 Mg, S, plus O2, G, 2 MgO, S, B, balanced equation P4, S, plus O2, G, P4 O10, S, C, unbalanced equation equations, A, and, B, are balanced, since there are same number of metal and oxygen atoms on each side of the equations. However equation, C, is not balanced. In this equation, Phosphorus atoms are balanced but not the oxygen atoms. To balance it, we must place the coefficient 5 on the left of oxygen on the left side of the equation to balance the oxygen atoms appearing on the right side of the equation. P4, S, plus 5O2, G, P4O10, S, balanced equation now, let us take combustion of propane, C3H8. This equation can be balanced in steps. Step 1 Write down the correct formulas of reactants and products. Here, propane and oxygen are reactants, and carbon dioxide and water are products. C3H8, G, plus O2, G, CO2, G, plus H2O, L, unbalanced equation Step 2 Balance the number of C atoms. Since 3 carbon atoms are in the reactant, therefore, 3 CO2 molecules are required on the right side. C3H8, G, plus O2, G, 3 CO2, G, plus H2O, L. Step 3 Balance the number of H atoms. On the left there are 8 hydrogen atoms in the reactants. However, each molecule of water has 2 hydrogen atoms. So 4 molecules of water will be required for 8 hydrogen atoms on the right side. C3H8, G, plus O2, G, 3 CO2, G, plus 4 H2O, L. Step 4 Balance the number of O atoms. There are 10 oxygen atoms on the right side. 3 times 2 is equal to 6 in CO2 and 4 times 1 is equal to 4 in water. Therefore, 5 or 2 molecules are needed to supply the required 10 CO2 and 4 times 1 is equal to 4 in water. Therefore, 5 or 2 molecules are needed to supply the required 10 oxygen atoms. C3H8, G, plus 5 O2, G, 3 CO2, G, plus 4 H2O, L. Step 5 Verify that the number of atoms of each element is balanced in the final equation. The equation shows 3 carbon atoms, 8 hydrogen atoms, and 10 oxygen atoms on each side. All equations that have correct formulas for all reactants and products can be balanced. Always remember that subscripts in formulas of reactants and products cannot be changed to balance an equation. 2019 to 20. Twenty two chemistry problem one point three calculate the amount of water G produced by the combustion of sixteen G of methane. Solution The balanced equation for the combustion of methane is CH4, G, plus 2O2, G, CO2, G, plus 2H2O, G, I, 16G of CH4 corresponds to 1 mole. 2. From the above equation, 
1 mole of CH4, G, gives 2 mole of H2O, G. 2 mole of water, H2O, is equal to 2 times, 2 plus 16, is equal to 2 times 18 is equal to 36 G 1 mol H 2 O is equal to 18 G H 2 O 18 G H O 1 mol H O 2 2 is equal to 1 hence 2 mol H 2 O times 18 G H O 1 mol H O 2 2 is equal to 2 times 18 G H 2 O is equal to 36 G H 2 O problem 1.4 how many moles of methane are required to produce 2 2 G CO 2 G, after combustion. Solution according to the chemical equation, CH4, G, plus 2O2, G, CO2, G, plus 2H2O, G, 44G CO2, G, is obtained from 16G CH4, G, 1 mole CO2, G, is obtained from 1 mole of CH4, G, number of moles of CO2, G is equal to 22 G CO2, G, times 144 to 2 mol COG G COG, is equal to 0.5 mol CO2, G, hence, 0.5 mol CO2, G, would be obtained from 0.5 mol CH4, G, or 0.5 mol of CH4, G, would be required to produce 22 G CO2, G. Problem 1.550.0 kg of N2, G, and 10.0 kg of H2, G, are mixed to produce NH3, G. Calculate the amount of NH3, G, formed. Identify the limiting reagent in the production of NH3 in this situation. Solution A balanced equation for the above reaction is written as follows. Calculation of moles, number of moles of N2 is equal to 501,000 1st January 1928 0222222 kg and GN and times times is equal to 17.86 times 102 mol number of moles of H2 is equal to 1000 one zero 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 one first February one hundred and sixty two 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 KGH GH KGH mol H GH times times is equal to four dot ninety six times one zero three mol according to the above equation one mol N two G requires three mol H two G for the reaction hence for 17.86 times 102 mol of N2 the moles of H2, G, required would be 17.86.10312222, times times, mol N mol H G mol N G is equal to 5.36 times 103 mol H2 but we have only 4.96 times 103 mol H2, hence, the hydrogen is the limiting reagent in this case. So, NH3, G, would be formed only from that amount of available the hydrogen i.e. 4.96 times 103 mol since 3 mol H2, G, gives 2 mol NH3, G, 4.96 times 103 mol H2, G, times 2332 mol NH G mol H G is equal to 3.30 times 103 mol NH3, G, 3.30 times 103 mol NH3, G, is obtained. If they are to be converted to grams, it is done as follows, 1 mol NH3, G, is equal to 17.0 G NH3, G, 3.30 times 103 mol NH3, G, times 17.0133 GNH G mol NH G 2019 to 2023 some basic concepts of chemistry is equal to 3.30 times 103 times 17 G NH3 G is equal to 56.1 times 103 G NH3 is equal to 56.1 kilograms NH33. 
molarity it is the most widely used unit and is denoted by m it is defined as the number of moles of the solute in 1 liter of the solution thus molarity m is equal to no of moles of solute of solution in liters volume suppose we have 1 m solution of a substance say now h and we want to prepare a 0.2 m solution from it 1 m now h means 1 mole of now h present in 1 liter of the solution for 0.2 m solution we require 0.2 moles of now h dissolved in 1 liter solution hence for making 0.2 m solution from 1 m solution we have to take that volume of 1 m now h solution which contains 0.2 mole of now h and dilute the solution with water to 1 liter now how much volume of concentrated 1 m now h solution be taken which contains 0.2 moles of now h can be calculated as follows if 1 mole is present in 1 l or 1000 ml solution then 0.2 mole is present in 1102 ml mole mole solution times is equal to 200 ml solution thus 200 ml of 1 m now h are taken and enough water is added to dilute it to make it 1 liter in fact for such calculations a general formula m1 times v1 is equal to m2 times v2 where m and v are molarity and volume respectively can be used in this case m1 is equal to 0.2 m v1 is equal to 1000 ml and m2 is equal to 1.0 m v2 is to be calculated substituting the values in the formula 0.2 m times 1000 ml is equal to 1.0 m times v2 note that the number of moles of solute now h was 0.2 in 200 ml and it has remained the same i 0.2 even after dilution in 1000 ml as we have changed just the amount of solvent i water and have not done anything with respect to now h but keep in mind the concentration one mass percent it is obtained by using the following relation Problem 1.6 a solution is prepared by adding 2g of a substance a to 18g of water calculate the mass percent of the solute solution 2 mole fraction it is the ratio of number of moles of a particular component to the total number of moles of the solution if a substance a dissolves in substance b and their number of moles are na and nb respectively then the mole fractions of a and b are given as 2019 to 20 24 chemistry problem 1.7 calculate the molarity of now h in the solution prepared by dissolving its 4g in enough water to form 250 ml of the solution solution since molarity m note that molarity of a solution depends upon temperature because volume of a solution is temperature dependent summary chemistry as we understand it today is not a very old discipline people in ancient india already had the knowledge of many scientific phenomenon much before the advent of 22 or 11 in mol l1 if its 20 g are dissolved in enough water to make a final volume up to 2 l 1.12 if the density of methanol is 0.793 kg l1 what is its volume needed for making 2.5 l of its 0.25 m solution 20 Calculate the concentration of nitric acid in moles per liter in a sample which has a density 1.41 gml1 and the mass percent of nitric acid in it being 
1.7 How much copper can be obtained from 100 g of copper sulfate, QSO4? 1.8 Determine the molecular formula of an oxide of iron, in which the mass percent of iron and oxygen are 69.9 and 30.1, respectively. 1.9 Calculate the atomic mass, average, of chlorine using the following data. Percent natural abundance molar mass 35 Cl 75.77 Cl 24.23 in 3 moles of ethane C2 H6 Calculate the following I Number of moles of carbon atoms 2 Number of moles of hydrogen atoms 3. Number of molecules of ethane. 1.11 What is the concentration of sugar? C12H22O11. In mol L1 if its 20 g are dissolved in enough water to make a final volume up to 2 L. 1.12 If the density of methanol is 0.793 kg L1. What is its volume needed for making 2.5 L of its 0.25 M solution? 1.13 Pressure is determined as force per unit. The scientific notation, I, 0.0048, 3, 8008, 4, 500.0, V, 6.0012.19 How many significant figures are present in the following? I, 0 0.0025, 2, 208, 3, 5005, 2019 to 20. 27 Some basic concepts of chemistry, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, v, 500.0, 6, 2, 1.20 round up the following up to 3 significant figures, I, 34.216, 2, 10.4107, 3, 0 0.04597, 4, 2808 1.21 The following data are obtained when dinitrogen and dioxygen react together to form different compounds. Mass of dinitrogen mass of dioxygen I 14 G 16 G 2 14 G 32 G 3 28 G 32 G 4 28 G 80 G which law of chemical combination is obeyed by the above experimental data? Give its statement. B. Fill in the blanks in the following conversions. I. 1 km is equal to. Mm is equal to. Pm. 2. 1 mg is equal to. Kg is equal to. Ng. 3. 1 ml is equal to. L is equal to. DM3 1.22 If the speed of light is 3.0 times 108 ms1, calculate the distance covered by light in 2.00 ns. 1.23 In a reaction A plus B2 AB2 identify the limiting reagent, if any, in the following reaction mixtures. I. 300 atoms of A plus 200 molecules of B. 2. 2 mol A plus 3 mol B, 3, 100 atoms of A plus 100 molecules of B, 4, 5 mol A plus 2.5 mol B, V, 2.5 mol A plus 5 mol B, 1.24 dinitrogen and the hydrogen react with each other to produce ammonia according to the following chemical equation, N2, G, plus H2, G, 2 NH3, G, I. Calculate the mass of ammonia produced if 2.00 times 103 g dinitrogen reacts with 1.00 times 103 g of the hydrogen. 
2. Will any of the two reactants remain unreacted? 3. If yes, which one and what would be its mass? 1.25 how are 0.50 mol na 2 co 3 and 0.50 m na 2 co 3 different? 1.26 if 10 volumes of the hydrogen gas reacts with 5 volumes of dioxygen gas, how many volumes of water vapor would be produced? 1.27 convert the following into basic units, I, 28.7 pm, 2, 15.15 pm, 3, 25,365 mg 2019 to 20. 28 Chemistry 1.28 Which one of the following will have the largest number of atoms? I, 1 G Au, S, 2, 1 G Na, S, 3, 1 G Li, S, 4, 1 G of Cl2, G. 1.29 Calculate the molarity of a solution of ethanol in water, in which the mole fraction of ethanol is 0 0.040, assume the density of water to be 1. 1.30 What will be the mass of 112 C atom in G? 1.31 How many significant figures should be present in the answer of the following calculations? I. 0 0.02856298.150.112 times times 0 0.5785 2 5 times 5.364 3 0 0.0125 plus 0 0.7864 plus 0 0.02151.32 to use the data given in the following table to calculate the molar mass of naturally occurring argon isotopes. Isotope isotopic molar mass abundance 36 AR 35.96755 G mol 10.337% 38 AR 37.96272 G mol 10.063% 40 AR 39.9624 G mol 199.600% 1.33 Calculate the number of atoms in each each of the following, I, 52 moles of AR, 2, 52 U of He, 3, 52 G of He, 1.34 A welding fuel gas contains carbon and hydrogen only. Burning a small sample of it in oxygen gives 3.38 G carbon dioxide, 0 0.690 G of water and no other products. A volume of 10.0 L measured at STP, of this welding gas is found to weigh 11.6 g calculate, I, empirical formula, 2, molar mass of the gas, and, 3, molecular formula, 1.35 calcium carbonate reacts with aqueous HCl to give CaCl2 and CO2 according to the reaction, CaCO3, S, plus 2 HCl, AC, CaCl2, AC, plus CO2, G, plus H2O, L, what mass of CaCO3 is required to react completely with 25 ml of 0.75 mHCl? 1.36 Chlorine is prepared in the laboratory by treating manganese dioxide, main O2, with aqueous hydrochloric acid according to the reaction for HCl, AC, plus MnO2, S, 2H2O, 